go on and head out to Eric Von Aiken. He's in Orange County with the National Guard. Eric, you have been all over. You've seen flooding. What's going on right now out there? Yeah. Hi, Crystal and Mike. So uh, the National Guard is finishing up their evacuation. We're on Lee Road just by I-4 off to my right. This is basically an extended stay motel. And look this, look at this over here. Orange County Fire Rescue has now joined in. They've been using this boat, this inflatable, they tell me, over in the Orla Vista area. We saw okay. some pictures of that, of that earlier, people stranded in their homes. They are now putting this boat in the water. You can't uh, actually put the, the outboard motor down into the water because it's not quite deep enough in some spots, maybe three feet or so. But what they're doing is walking alongside it. We saw a woman with special needs uh, just in the last 10 minutes or so. Um, they got her out of the motel and then they walked her down, helping her into the boat very carefully. And then they walked the boat across this parking lot. This is a parking lot that is entirely underwater. And then they, they brought her right up on the grass uh, where um, they uh, uh, helped her, I mean, almost helped carry her into one of the, the waiting cars. Um, you see the bus over there, too? So. They have these buses because they're taking folks to some of the shelters around. We're told some of the uh, high schools um, are being used as shelters to care for a lot of these folks. Uh, looks like they're done with the boat. They're pulling the boat back up on the trailer. And then, I'm told, they move on. There's a lot of situations like this all over Central Florida. Here, what the National Guard was doing, I was able to walk around. I got some video with my cell phone. Uh, there are people on the top floor and people on the first floor. People on the first floor, they started getting water coming in under their doors uh, about four o'clock this afternoon i'm told so they called for help because they couldn't get out so the national guard came and brought these uh, transport vehicles and you see people carrying all kinds of stuff i mean for many of them this is their lives remember like i said this is an extended stay motel and there were a lot of kids here I mean, in uh, some cases, uh, small children and even babies. And so my question to one of the gentlemen who lives here, he actually ended up walking out on his own, but he said a lot of these other people cannot get out on their own very easily. The woman I was talking about with special needs who needed help, uh, and a lot of the people with kids and stuff. So you could walk in a parking lot like this if you have boots, although when you get over there, I can tell you the water is up higher than the boots. And so think about a mom trying to carry her little baby through this parking lot. And like I said, it's got all kinds of yucky stuff in it. They warned us, the apartment manager over here warned us that there is oil, uh, among other things, among other chemicals, and probably, like I said earlier, among other bacteria here in this water. So that's why their choice, really, it came down to waiting for someone to come get them. And like I said, thank God for the National Guard and the Orange County Fire Rescue, because they are the people who are coming to get people right now in dire need. Mike Crystal. Eric, so we saw that the National Guard was out there and you mentioned some people that were being evacuated had special needs. Do you know if anybody needed any medical care or if they're being taken care of by, you know, those medical services? Uh, Crystal, so uh, as you see, fire rescue is out here. So those are firefighter paramedics as well. They are taking care of people if they need it. We have not seen anyone uh, taken out on a stretcher or needing any sort of um, uh, special medical care. Uh, there was uh, one elderly woman. She was brought out um, onto a wheelchair, and this was tricky. So you see, again, the, uh, the transport vehicle at the back of the building. Um, they were able to, it was a specialized wheelchair, lift her up and put her in the back of that convoy in the vehicle. It's a special wheelchair uh, where it kind of uh, rolls. It can roll vertically um, up into this vehicle. I actually got some video, so we're going to try and get that on for you a little bit later. And then they drove the vehicle out here to where it's dry, and then the whole team of them lifted her up into the air and gently lowered her down onto the ground. You got to see the picture of her face. She was just, she was just squinting her eyes, and it looked like almost praying the whole time, waiting for this to be over. Of course, she was being exposed to the elements, rain in her face. Um, it, it, it was, it was, must have been for her thinking this is a miracle that yeah. these people are here coming to get me. Thankful for those men and women out there oh boy. to help out. Eric, before you go, first of all, tremendous reporting, some of the best we've seen in a long, long time. 
Your sense just from your vantage point, how many people do you think are impacted? Are we talking dozen, two dozen, and are there more to come? You're talking just here, Mike? Yeah, right there, Eric, in your vantage point here. Right, so the number we got uh, was, Jeff, what, 75, 74, 75? So uh, about 20 minutes ago, they told us right around 75 people that they pulled out just from this apartment. There are still several people more inside. That's about the end of it. But again, between the folks in Orla Vista, it sounded like there were hun possibly hundreds of people over there. And then again, when they leave here, they're moving on. There are more rescues. There are more people right now waiting for help. We understand that. If you're watching us on TV right now, hopefully you have power. You're watching us on your cell phone. Know that they are out here. They are working for you. The National Guard is here. They are doing everything they can to get to you. And I promise you, they will get to you. And when they do, like we saw here, they're going to take care of you. Yeah, we've got American heroes out there. Eric, great work. Thanks so much.